They still have extreme heat warnings across many parts of the country at the moment on what has been an historic spell of weather. Up until this morning, the uh, highest nighttime temperature ever recorded in the UK was 23.9 Celsius in Brighton in 1990. This morning, some spots were over two degrees warmer than that. The full details will be uh, looked at and the exact figures only provisional at the moment. But the same can be said about the day, from a record-breaking night to a record-breaking day. And even into this evening, as temperatures start to wane a little bit in the west, we've seen some heavy thundery showers push their way through. We still have exceptional heat through London, all the way through the East Midlands and towards Lincolnshire. Even at 6 o'clock, some could still be in the high 30s, approaching 40 degrees. Hot across many eastern areas, western areas a little bit fresher to end the day, but still temperatures at 6 o'clock higher than normal expect during the peak of the afternoon. Bit of cloud still towards the far north and west of Scotland. Outbreaks of rain here as we start the evening. And there's the line of thundery showers that work through Wales in the uh, southwest through the morning, pushing through the Midlands into other parts of eastern England as we head through the first part of the evening and first part of the night. Some torrential thunderstorms, they clear through. Most become drier again into the morning. Now, temperatures tonight, not as oppressive as last night, but it's still going to be a humid night, especially across central and eastern areas, freshest out towards the north and the west. But even here, 12 to 14, with the starting temperatures. Now, for Wednesday, a bit of a complicated chart. Still some humid air wrapped around this weather front, but this one out towards the west. You can see it here, cloud through northeast Scotland, down through Wales and southwest. So on the western side of that, the fresh air starts to push its way in. Sunny spells, isolated showers. Cloud and some spots of rain and drizzle eastern Scotland, a few heavy showers, Wales and southwest, and then thunderstorms breaking out through the Midlands, East Anglia and the South East later, where even though it's considerably cooler than it will be today, it's going to be still hot. Temperatures 26 to 29 degrees, further north and west, getting closer to where we should be again for this stage in July. Now, if you're after the uh, a much more comfortable tonight, night to sleep, that may not come and through till Wednesday night and Thursday morning when we start to see that fresh air gradually push its way in. The houses will still be warm, though, so open the doors out first thing Thursday morning, let some of that fresh air in. Dry, sunny day for many, just one or two showers, particularly across the north, and temperatures lower than normal across some northern and western areas, so pretty warm in the sunshine in the south and east. Hello, very good afternoon to you. Welcome to BBC News. I'm Sean Lane with the headlines at 2 o'clock. It is Britain's hottest day ever, according to provisional figures from the Met Office. The temperature at Heathrow reached 40.2 degrees. Extreme heat has meant widespread transport disruption for a second day, with rails buckling and train camps, trains cancelled. Across Europe, the heat wave brings deadly wildfires in France, Spain, Portugal and Greece with thousands of people forced to flee their homes. As voting closes in the latest round... Hello, and if you've just joined us, warm welcome to BBC News. So, in the last hour, the Met Office has said that a new provisional UK temperature record has been set, with 40.2 degrees registered at Heathrow. If confirmed, it will mean that today is officially the hottest day ever recorded in this country. The previous record of 38.7 degrees was set three years ago. The Met Office had already said that last night was the hottest ever recorded in the UK, with temperatures falling, failing to fall below 25 degrees in some places. Now, well, well has issued a do not travel warning for anyone trying to get through on the rails in the zone covered by the extreme weather warning. The East Coast main line out of London's King's Cross is closed and there will be no Thames Link or Great Northern services running north from London all day. Many other lines are subject to speed restrictions. The hot weather is also putting pressure on the NHS emergency services which are seeing an increase in 999 and also 111 calls. The Health Secretary for England, Steve Barclay, said more funding of call handlers have been put in place to try to cope with the expected increased demand. In all, in all five people have died while swimming in rivers and lakes uh, yesterday in London, Berkshire, Salford, Northumberland and Wiltshire. Police and fire services 
urging people not to go into rivers, reservoirs, lakes, or other open water, trying to keep cool, due to the dangers which can include cold water shock. Gareth Barlow has more. It's weather never seen before in the UK. For the first time in history, the mercury here at Heathrow passing 40 degrees Celsius. As the sun rose, each hour a new high. The day began for some with an early dip after the warmest night on record, trying to keep cool ahead of further dangerously hot weather. We're all at risk here with this heat, so you shouldn't go out during the middle of the day. The temperatures are really going to be extreme, but there are obviously going to be people who are more vulnerable. I was speaking to somebody here who has heart failure. Those who have chronic health conditions are going to be more at risk. The elderly, the very young, all of these people may struggle to regulate their hydration more. Today's extreme forecast follows yesterday's record-breaking temperatures. For Wales, the hottest day in history. For Northern Ireland and Scotland, their warmest day of the year so far. The temptation to stay cool has sadly proved deadly. At least four people are known to have died after entering rivers and reservoirs. As while the sun may be scorching, Britain's waters remain dangerously cold. If you get into trouble or out of your debt, uh, floats on your back a bit like a starfish and um, until you can remain, uh, regain control of your breathing um, and then you can either signal for assistance from the lifeguards um, or, or swim uh, to safety. The weather has wrought disruption to schools, services and travel with roads melting and railway tracks topping a record 62 degrees Scientists warn there's no good news associated with our changing climate, especially for the most vulnerable in society. A lot of the people we come across as well have, have, have taken substances or they're drinking alcohol. And if you think about drinking alcohol in this heat, having no access to water when they're on the streets, like the fountains aren't working at the minute, um, you know, they need access to water. Although the advice is to hide from the heat, for many of us there's no choice but to brave the heat wave and head out to work to make sure society still functions despite our sweltering. From London to Leeds, Starport to Spalding, the Met Office's extreme heat warning stretches across England for a second day. Our isles now endure a changing climate, one far hotter than we've seen before. Gareth Barlow, BBC News. Well, I'm pleased to say I'm joined by our weather presenter, Matt Taylor, who's with you. I'm very sorry, people. I do have to go and get ready now. I have an appointment at quarter to three, which I cannot miss. Um, I will put up another update around about 7pm tonight. Um, as always, though, you can always check out the channels yourself and see what's happening on the weather and the news. But... <clears throat> I will upload some more later on this evening, okay?